Welcome to Healthy Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. Twitter success. 1. Updating. If you have problems keeping your tweets up to date and in a constant stream, consider using programs where they can be stored and and quat, uploaded and quat, according to a schedule. You will be able to write a tweet and release it multiple times in relevant dates, such as holidays and events. 2. Availability. Make sure you Use a software product that informs you when you receive direct messages and at mentions. Being active and responsive will help you attract and maintain users. If users think that you're just spouting sales material for self-promotion, they won't stay followers for long. 3. Readability. Make sure you proofread every tweet you make. It might seem trivial, but making sure that tweets use good grammar and have no spelling mistakes will make you seem more professional and your tweets will be more readable if your followers are having a hard time understanding you they won't stay with you for long 4 followers expectations if you are famous for a certain type of product or occupation your followers expect you to dispense knowledge or quips regarding it if those types of updates are scarce or non-existent, the amount of followers you have will slowly reduce, and it'll be hard getting them back. 5. Self-creation. You need to make sure that the amount of self-created updates is high enough. Don't just post a joke you just heard, that everyone else already knows. Your followers are looking for something new, preferably something that is related to you, either personally or by occupation. 6. Retweets. Retweeting is fine, as long as you don't do it often. Your followers aren't following you in order to get someone else's updates. And advice. Make sure that you have more content that you created in your stream, than retweets. And retellings. 7. Manual retweets are automatic. If you do decide to retweet make sure that you Use the manual way to retweet. It is more cumbersome and takes more time, but your followers will be able to see you and your avatar next to it, and you will advertise yourself even further doing that. 8. Avoid automatic retweeting. By using Twitter's automatic retweeting feature, you might be saving yourself time and hassle, but you're passing it to your users. Your users will see tweets by People they don't follow and they might think that they've been infected with a virus, or that they got spam. 9. Use automatic retweeting to your advantage. If you decide, after all, to use the automatic retweeting feature in Twitter, use it to retweet things by people that you discuss with and that recommend their followers to follow you. If you retweet regular followers' tweets it will Make them feel that you're reading their updates, and that you care about them. 10. Avoid proxies. And official speak. If people started following you because of who you are and what you've done, don't use people to update your Twitter feed for you. Followers will feel the lack of response in the official speak that often characterize that type of feed. They will quickly stop following or they'll stop paying attention to you. 11. How to make the best out of official speak. If you don't have the time and the want to go through and read hundreds and thousands of tweets by your followers, and all you can provide is a Twitter account that doesn't offer personal information and views, use that account to publicize events where people can get what they want, personal views, and information. 12. Automatic retweet. Retweet friends' feeds. If you still choose to use the automatic retweet function that is built in into Twitter, you need to pick and choose which ones to retweet that way. The best option is to retweet friends' tweets or companies and individuals that work with you or are related to you. 
It will provide you with extra publicity, since they talk about you and interact with you. 13. If you must use a proxy. If you still opt to use an official Twitter account, instead of a personal one, it is best to state that, that the official one is maintained by proxies. You also need to offer a personal account, which you can update less regularly. If people want your view, they won't mind as much about the lack of updates. 14. Follow quality accounts to get better followers. Follow people that update often with new material, not ones that update too much and with self-promoting updates. The people you will follow might follow you back, and they might advertise your account for you. The quality of their accounts affects the quality of the advertisement. 15. Don't overdo it, it will drive people away. Don't retweet things that you tweeted a short time ago. If you go on and on about the same subject, especially if it's whiny and or promotional, people will get sick of it. Especially people that don't like a long feed to read. Longer feeds make people expect higher quality tweets. 16. Keep your followers and get more readers by using hashtags. Hashtags are ways in which you can play in. Interact with your community of followers. You can start one, or participate in one, and slowly. People from your community will join in the fun. It makes them more inclined to look out for and read your tweets, instead of skimming them. 17. Make your feed useful. Don't just make the feed about you. People can get sick of that, and if you are famous enough, they already get that via many other locations. Make them come back to your feed, or to recommend your feed to their friends. By occasionally offering various tips about the business you're in. 18. Embed your feed in your websites. You can get more followers by publicizing your tweets in other locations. It can be easily done using a software product that writes your latest updates on the side of a website. People that don't visit your feed will be exposed to it and might become followers. 19. Participate in debates and discussions. Don't be afraid to step off the pedestal that fans have placed you on and show your followers that you are reading their tweets. Participate, but remember to be cordial. Don't hunt down followers and don't back them into a corner. Make sure they feel free to talk to you. 20. Don't answer everything. Some people will feel hurt and offended if you answer their questions in a way that can be interpreted as demeaning. Especially if you do it publicly. If you follow them and they follow you, use the direct message option in Twitter to talk to them privately. They'll appreciate it. 21. Retweet to get retweeted. If you make sure to retweet updates from your followers, Ones that you find interesting, or that require more people to know about them or to see them, those people will be more willing to retweet your updates, especially the ones you want seen by as many people as possible. 22. Participate in Twitter-related products. People have fun looking at various statistics from your Twitter feed. To create those statistics, you can use many different services or software products. The end result allows you to advertise people that follow you, and you will be able to interact with them, which will attract more followers. 23. Think before posting. If you want to attract new followers, or at least keep your current ones, you need to make sure that you don't post something that might be interpreted as offensive or demeaning. Also make sure that your feed isn't too business-like and self-promotional or too mundane. 24. Check the at username field. Occasionally check the at your dash username tab that Twitter offers. You can automate the checking process by using clients and software products. Also search for your username and real name via the search feature. Answer people's questions in queries. It will show them that you're friendly and active on Twitter, and they'll start to follow you. 25. Use software to maintain the Enquat, following Enquat, list. If you have a lot of followers that you want to follow back, 
the amount of tweets and retweets can get overwhelming. If you will stop following people, they might get offended and you'll have fewer followers as s. Result. Use a software product to sift between at replies and between the different users. 26. Put some humor in your feed. If you just tweet about the mundane, and occasionally about some job you got that you want to advertise, to get more eyes on it and self-promote, people will be less likely to follow you, or to keep following you. Add some humor on occasions to make your feed appealing. 27. Go beyond the limitations in Twitter. Have a blog where you can write short thoughts you had or commentary. Publicize it on your Twitter feed, and your followers will respond to it. If you'll have a short blog post that is quick and easy to read, people will be more likely to retweet it. The blog post will lead them to Twitter. 28. Be valuable in a certain niche. Some markets are overcrowded, and being good at them is hard to do. If there are five people or more that are better and more interesting than you at a certain subject, you will be kicked to the curb. Make sure you choose a niche and that you're very good at it. 29. Don't overdo it. Know the limits of your followers. After a certain amount of tweets per day, it gets too much for them, and they either don't read the tweets, or they stop following you. Wait before you update your feed, you might be able to squeeze two updates into one. 30. Limit the amount of automatic replies. If you have a program that automatically follows people that follow you and DMs them, it can be annoying after a while, especially if the message is a broad bland one. When you DM people it either alerts them via the client they use, via email or via their cell phone, it can get distracting and annoying very quickly. 31. Post an interesting profile picture. Post a profile picture that is interesting and easy to recognize for your followers. They need to quickly manually sift through their friends feeds, and read the things that interest them the most, from the people that interest them the most. A recognizable profile picture helps with that. 32. Take time to write your Twitter profile. Your Twitter profile is the thing that tells people who you are, what you like and what you do. If you'll just put a link in there and nothing else, people won't go to that link, because they don't know if it's relevant or interesting to them. 33. Don't change your profile picture too often. Your profile picture is a quick way in which people recognize your tweets, it makes them easier to seek them. If you change your picture too often, people will get confused, they might think you're somebody else. Announce before or after you change your profile picture, so your followers won't get confused. 34. Be up to date. If you are up to date with your tweets, either regarding news or regarding Twitter activities, like hashtag follow Friday, you will get greater exposure. People will retweet your tweets because they are relevant, and people will be interested in reading them. After several hours, almost everything has already been said, and people moved on. 35. Don't follow corporations on your official Twitter profile. Your official Twitter profile needs to be used for interaction with your audience. If you'll follow companies you will achieve nothing in terms of interaction, they will just self-promote. If those feeds are important for your job, or for you, set up a private profile for that. 36. Use programs and categories in order to find relevant people. To follow if you will follow the average Joe, it will be best if he is in a certain niche or a certain business that is related to yours. There is no point in following people that aren't interested in what you produce and in what you say in your feed. 37. You can search for Twitter groups online to increase targeted exposure if you will be part of a group of Twitter users. Instead of following one person at a time, you will get more exposure with the same effort. Make sure that the group you follow and interact with is an active group that is interested in your niche or products. 38. Avoid controversial topics and snarky remarks. 
if people will get offended by what you say, or if your tweets are targeted at a specific type of humor, followers will drop like flies. The same goes with snarky comments regarding news items and regarding Twitter users. Updates. Be cordial. No one wants to follow a bad person. 39. Target your responses. If you search for certain strings or at replies in Twitter, make sure that you only answer the ones that are clear and concise. Only reply to a question that you can give a full answer to. Wait before responding. If several people ask the same question, address them all in the reply. It will reduce spam. 40. Manage your spam followers. Your genuine followers will check who follows you and who you follow. They might start following them, so it is important to make sure that you don't follow spam accounts. If they get burned by a spam account, they might stop following you and they'll recommend other people to stay away as well. 41. Start discussions. Don't just respond to threads. Start them as well. Ask people questions. Don't ask specific people, but rather your followers as a whole. If you'll start discussions and ask questions, your followers will bond with you and with each other, which will make them more attentive to your updates. 42. Connect with followers via other ways. Use Twitter as a starting platform. Don't limit yourself to it. You can start other accounts in many different social networks and websites. Attract your current followers to those websites by posts and information you can't post via Twitter. That way you'll reach the people that follow your followers. 43. On occasions help people with trivial or small things. Help followers solve trivial or small problems, which are in a field you have a sufficient understanding of. It will encourage other people to follow you, and it will make you look like a nice person. It will also break the self-promotion that you perform, via links and at replies. 44. Introduce followers to other followers. If you have followers that produce a certain website are podcast or product, and someone else might be interested in it, link him or her to that product and to the product's creator. Also make sure to check out what your followers produce and give them feedback regarding it. 45. Search for current topics. Don't just wait for the trending topics list that Twitter publishes. Search for hash keywords in the search box to learn what people think about a certain subject, and give your take on it, with hash keywords as well. People searching for that keyword will find your tweets. 46. Join conversations that your followers are having. Don't be afraid to jump into a conversation your followers are having. Twitter is not a private place, and people can comment on almost everything. By joining a conversation, the people reading it will follow you and engage you in their conversations. Eventually you will gain active followers. 47. Dedicate an email account for your Twitter account. If you are interested in getting many followers, and if you expect to gain many followers, you need to dedicate an entire email account for them. Follow that email account using an email inbox checker. You will get a lot of direct messages that will reach your email account. 48. If you're trying to promote something, link to a preview or a taste test. Don't try to sell products to followers by directly linking to them. They will get tired of all the links and of all the sales talk and the coercing. Instead advertise it by linking to a preview or a place where they can get it for a limited time. 49. Use software products to keep track of the people you follow that don't follow you back if someone follows you. And after you follow them back, they stop following you, then they're just trying to gain as much followers as possible. They're dead weight that you need to drop. Don't give them free advertising or attention. Make sure those accounts aren't company accounts, which follow selectively. 50. Converse with coworkers and colleagues. By having conversations with your 
colleagues and co-workers, people that are likely to answer you and to follow you, you can attract their followers to follow you, and vice versa. Give advice, respond on the work they did, and advertise what they did. They will return the favor. 51. Use software in order to give pre-prepared answers. You're sometimes busy so you can't always be on Twitter, and you can't always monitor it, especially if you have a lot of at replies and questions thrown at you. People want quick and up-to-date answers, so you can choose certain strings to search for in Twitter, and the replies to those strings. 52. If you make a mistake, apologize. You can delete things using Twitter, but once you publish them, people see them in their feed. If you delete them the people that weren't on, or that didn't record the feed, either via RSS or via a Twitter client, won't get to see them. But it's better to publish a new tweet that corrects the previous one. 53. Search for good advice from other Twitter users. Search for good advice given by your followers, and use that advice when asked about a certain subject, or when your followers ask their followers about a certain subject. You will be seen more that way, and you can give credit, which will help you keep your followers and get new ones. 54. Use giveaways and challenges to boost your promotion. By offering a contest or a challenge to your users, preferably an enjoyable one, you can boost the amount of genuine exposure you will get, and the amount of good free content you will get. You will also strengthen the bond you have with your current followers. 55. Don't be afraid to ask for help or feedback. By asking for help and feedback you will help followers participate, and they will feel good about themselves. They will also get an exclusive preview to something you're working on, which will encourage them to pay attention to your updates, and it will be a great promotion for your creations. 56. Find Twitter pack listings and add yourself to them. By adding yourself to various Twitter packs and groups you will gain targeted exposure in the niches you're working in. You will achieve better publicity that way. People that browse those websites look for people to follow in certain niches. A small amount of visitors isn't a detriment, their quality is what matters. 57. Use Twitter's limitations to point people to your creations. Whether a software product or a blog post, it doesn't matter. You can give people basic advice using one or several Twitter updates, but Twitter has a limitation of 140 characters per update. Use that limitation as an excuse to point people to places that provide them with specific and thorough answers. 58. Tweet about new things in your niche. The things you tweet about don't have to be connected to your own creations, or your friends and peers' creations. You can tweet about new products, articles and blog posts in the niche or subject that you operate in and that you cover. Being the first to link to good timely content will attract followers. 59. When you can, sign tweets with your name or username. By signing your tweets you will forward people to your account. It will also make it easy for people to quickly understand who wrote that tweet. By helping users understand who wrote interesting tweets, you will gain more attention and eventually more followers. Don't let good tweets go uncredited. 60. Don't be afraid to get personal. By posting what might be considered sensitive information or personal information, you will create a strong link with your followers. Those links will be hard to break and disrupt. If you'll just self-promote and discuss, people won't have a problem unfollowing you once you stop being useful or interesting to them. 61. Proofread your updates. You don't want people to think that you're stupid or that you are lazy. Take the time to check your updates or to install a software product that will check them for you. The Twitter updates consist of just a short sentence or several, so there is no excuse to not checking them. 62. Become a news source. If you are just one of the many 
Users on Twitter that comment on news, usually using the same exact words or meaning, people won't read those updates. But if you provide up-to-date news in the subject your Twitter profile focuses on, people will follow you to hear the news and to get your insight. 63. Edit your updates to be short. If your updates are short and catchy they will be easier to read and remember. They will be retweeted more and they will be more attractive. If your updates are broken up to several parts, people won't spend time editing them in order to retweet them. 64. Can you keep it down to one update? Is the thing you want to say really that important? Can you say it in one update? Can you say it in less? Think about those things when you plan on tweeting something. It will decrease the amount of updates your followers will get from you. 65. Be consistent. It is important to be consistent. One way to be consistent is to not update your feed as soon as you can. If you're commenting on something, be smart and wait for all the details. If you will make a mistake, or if you will change your opinion quickly, people will remember that. 66. Don't use 1337 code R. Shortened words. When you're trying to build a relationship with your followers, you want to present yourself in a professional way. You want people to respect you. Remember that you're not a small child and that being in quat, hip and quat, doesn't attract people, it repels them. Avoid leet. Code and shortened words. 67. If you have to use shortened words, use them consistently. You don't have to have a template that fits all of your tweets, but if you intend on using shortened words, such as you instead of you, etc., you need to make sure that they are consistent throughout the entire tweet. Don't mix you and you, R and R. 68. Don't pester followers. Don't ask stupid. Questions like in quat. What are you doing in quat? People won't answer that and you will look desperate. And it will repel people. Instead of trying to force participation in discussion, ask a general question or talk about something that happened to you. 69. Pay attention to trends. You can use the trends that Twitter publishes, or you can use a software product that will check your Twitter feed for you for rising trends. Join in the discussion, it's important to be timely and to be active. Some trends are small but they solidify your relationship with your followers. 70. Start trends. If you'll start trends, even small ones, you will increase your exposure and people will be drawn to your profile if they want to learn more about that trend. Besides, followers will see that you are active and that you're participating, and that you're not just spouting self-promotion at them. 71. Share the secrets of your trade. If you use a certain resource, or if you learn something while working in the area you're in, share it. Some of your followers follow you in order to learn about that industry, and you're just a vessel through which they might get that information. 72. Don't bring back dead topics. People on Twitter will often discuss topics after something specific occurs. After that time and date, they are already spent, they don't want to discuss the matter anymore. They already talked about it with their friends and family and with strangers on Twitter. 73. Get out of Twitter. This might seem weird, but sometimes you need to get out of Twitter. Check. Out the different applications for computer systems and mobile phones, and see which features they offer. Sometimes you need to leave the thicket, in order to see what you can do in it. 74. Put Twitter clients everywhere. Put Twitter clients everywhere. In your computer, in your laptop, on your mobile phone, etc. The more places you have Twitter, the easier it will be to manage your feed. It will also help you gain popularity, because you will be able to tweet in a timely manner. 75. Make sure you can tweet on the go. If you have Twitter clients on mobile devices, you will be able to expand what you can do with Twitter. You will be able to publish various data from your apps, take pictures and upload them etc. 
You will also have much more inspiration and stimulation, and your creativity will increase. 76. Avoid auto completion or change its settings. It is wise to make sure you are taking the best precautions you can take in order to avoid unreadable text are incorrect one, but auto completion might backfire. Auto completion software isn't perfect and it sometimes gets words totally wrong and turns updates into confusing gibberish. Get rid of the end quat, auto and quat, modich, part. 77. Don't follow more people than you can pay attention to. Like they say, one bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. If you'll follow many people, you will spend your entire time tracking them especially if you don't intend to use software products. You will lose many followers that way, by not being up to date. 78. Stop worrying about it and just try. Don't over-calculate and speculate regarding something. If something will tank on Twitter, it will be lost on many of the followers, and the rest will forget about it amongst all the other tweets. You can just keep throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Bad ideas don't stay alive. For long. 79. Be positive. Always. It is important to be positive and to challenge your users. To be positive. Familiarize yourself with a subject and search for the thing you can be positive about. There are enough people that think someone or something is stupid and those aren't the people you want to attract. 80. Thank people for their insight and ideas. By thanking people it will encourage them to help you out more. Plus, it's just good manners. They will achieve a reward for their actions, plus they'll get exposure in the community. Also other people will see that, and they'll want that recognition as well, so everyone will participate more and work harder. At it. 81. Don't fight against Twitter. If you see that a trend is changing or that a trend is ending, don't go against it. Twitter is all about the most current, it offers quick and short insight or updates about the most up-to-date events, and there are only a few subjects that stay for longer. 82. Share anecdotes. Use Twitter to share anecdotes, preferably funny ones. People will remember the people that make them laugh, and they will follow them and pay attention to them. Use Twitter in order to be a bright spot among the long Twitter updates that a person has to read. 83. Research which Twitter clients your followers use. By asking your followers which Twitter clients they use, you can tailor make your updates. They will be more efficient that way and they will reach a greater audience. If you discover that most people read their Twitter feed on the go, keep it short, otherwise they'll get distracted quickly. 84. Be quick to follow people that follow you. This might seem stupid or unnecessary, but you need to keep track on the people that follow you. There are a lot of bots and people that follow just to be followed, and then stop following you permanently. But there are people that want to follow you and would like your attention, and if you ignore them they might unfollow you. 85. Fit your updates to your followers. If your followers are mostly located in a certain country, or are mostly of a certain age group, or are mostly of a certain religion, you need to target your updates at them. They won't follow or read things that aren't related to them. 86. Know when not to update your feed. Sometimes you need to avoid updating your feed. You need to let people have some peace and quiet, and all you have to do is just tweet a short message. Nothing more during that day or those several days. Be timely. This can be due to a disaster or bad news, or simply, the holidays. 87. Plan for the long term. Make sure that you pay attention to the trends you cause and to the people you attract. If you want to achieve a certain goal by using your Twitter feed, it is important to plan ahead. Sometimes by trying to be attractive and timely, you stray away from your intended goal. 88. Use external services to track your feed. 
You need to be timely in order to be active and in order to start conversations. You want to bond with your followers. But sometimes Twitter itself disallows that. It sometimes has fits. Sometimes updates by you or your followers arrive late or get lost. Use. Something to avoid it, like an RSS reader. 89. Use friends to test updates before you post them. Various individuals, companies and businesses use members of the general public in order to test the quality of a certain product and to see which reaction it causes. It might sound good in the studio or in your head, but you need to double check. It's hard to self-criticize. 90. Avoid using numbers in your username. If you use numbers people will quickly mistake you for a bot or for a promotional account. They will report you for spam and they will block you from following them. This is the reverse result you want to get. They might also mistake you for a different person. 91. Use short and easy to remember usernames. Don't use usernames like Joe or Millie. They are short but hard to remember and distinguish, especially if people have several people with similar usernames, or people with different usernames but the same, or a similar, first name. It makes who wrote what, and who is which confusing. 92. Use descriptive shortened URLs. URLs are oftentimes used to trick people into entering harmful sites or to websites they aren't interested in entering usually by bots. When you have to use a shortened URL, check to see if you can choose your own link and make it descriptive of the website it links to. 93. Don't write who you are and what you do in your updates. Some people oftentimes clutter their feeds with useless information that is already located in their profiles. Don't assume that people haven't read your profile information. They did and they're interested in content, not in spam. They don't require introductions, use. You're in their time wisely. 94. Post summaries of the week's tweets. It might sound silly, but if you have an ongoing project or raffle, or if you wrote a recent blog post, posting a summary of those events at the end of the week, before the weekend or during the weekend, will remind people of what they can do new especially the people that missed the original update. 95. Don't be afraid to use Twitter extras. Twitter websites and products add to the functionality of Twitter. They allow you to find and invite friends, to recommend things, to give a more detailed description of yourself, and to participate in chat rooms. These are all great ways to increase your followers and to bond with them. 96. Use Twitter products to publish your current status. Twitter isn't very friendly in the chatting area. It is much more suited for a stream of consciousness. But sometimes, you want your followers to know if they can reach you and when. You can use a software product to update your profile text feed with pre-written messages. 97. Don't limit yourself to the textual. Twitter has great services that allow you to break the limits it places on you. You can post longer tweets and you can also post pictures with a sentence underneath them. That sentence will be tweeted with a link to the photo. A photo is worth 1,000 words. 98. Be active with your retweets. Dot. When you retweet, don't just retweet passively. The content you are retweeting might be interesting, but people follow you to get your insight or your feedback. By retweeting passively, all you're doing is saying to people in Quat, here are some interesting people, follow them, not me in Quat. 99. Set up conversing via Twitter, not in Twitter. Twitter is a public platform, so conversations are best kept to a minimum. It is more like phishing, you post something and you Wait for feedback. If you conduct a conversation with someone on Twitter, all of your followers will see it. It will produce a lot of unwanted clutter for them. 100. Sift through your followers. List for dormant accounts. Dormant followers are a great source. They already follow you, but 
They rarely read the updates of the people they're following. Instead of trying to gain more followers, you can try to maximize your current ones. Wake them up and make them participate. That way you'll have less people to keep track of. 101. Have fun with Twitter. With anything you do if you aren't enjoying it eventually it will start to show. The more you are actually enjoying yourself the more your followers will enjoy reading your tweets. The more fun you have the more successful you will find Twitter. We hope we will achieve our objectives. All the best to you. Learn more at uni24x7.com kokoshungsan pays you to have fun. Kakashungsan.net